Well, hey there, YouTube. This is Mad Mags here with another video. We're uh, here at HOI TV Studios, and uh, I figured I'd give you guys an actual full tour of what we have here. Uh, so we're going to start off with, actually, let me do a quick unveiling uh, real quick. Top one here is my uh, Samopolis Armenia, the Venezuelan Sun Tiger, just picked up today. Uh, probably is right in the back. She's in the front, though. So, yeah, right there off the side here. And, uh, I mean, this was kind of one I've been wanting for a while, but I'm also on this, uh, tiger kick. You know, I got, uh, my tiger lily, which is the uh, Davis Pantalore, and now, uh, picked up the, uh, what was that, uh, No, Cyrocosmus Elegans, the Trinidad Dwarf Tiger Rump or something like that, but yeah, uh, picked up new today, and then also picking up new today is my Dark Earth Tiger or my Kilo Brachys Species King Cratchin, which is a little itty bitty here. And we'll get to that in a moment, so we'll put this here, and we'll uh, let you know that we have Mel back here behind the camera. Say hi, Mel. Hello. And uh, I'd like to do a couple quick shout-outs. Uh, once to the Facebook U Tarantula YouTube community, thank you guys again for graciously accepting me, and... Uh, I want to give a couple shout outs for uh, a few of the uh, video guy, the videos I watch and uh, a couple of the uh, people I've subscribed to, so like John3800. So if you're new into the hobby, wanting to get into it, or still into it, or have been doing it for years and have your own channel, but still should check out John3800. Uh, should also check out uh, Guy 1976 I hear he may be coming back. Uh, or actually is coming back to the uh, Tarantula YouTube community. We appreciate that. That thank you, jo thank you, Rob, uh, uh, for all the videos you've given us, and uh, thank you, John. I also want to uh, shout out to Petco from Dark Den. Thank you, uh, you and John and Rob were the main three reasons I got into this. So they thank you as well. Um, shout out to Tom and Mark because off, their Off the Tongues challenge they did, I want to say like last year or, no, I think it was this year, just earlier this year. Uh, that was a great load. Hope you guys do it again. And uh, shout out to uh, Exotic Layer, Greg Rice, uh, Katie's Random Adventure, and Tran Deadly Tarantula Girl. She's a good one to watch too, if you're really big into tarantulas. Uh, so... There's my shout outs. Welcome to HOI TV Studios. And I am Mad Maddox. We're going to start over here with the uh, species Cane Cratchin. And I'll come around the table to get a better view. Sorry. And we'll get this. This is a new pickup today. So I picked this up today from my uh, local pet store here in Arizona. And. Uh, there we go right there, Species King, a little sling. But, yeah, let's see, maybe I'll grab a uh, small cricket here, see if we can't get a quick feeding off of this, then we can get on to the Next. Oh, 
All right. Oh. Well, there it fell into it. We'll see if. Hmm. Might not actually. I'm not sure. Nope. Well, hold on. I don't see any interest at all, so. Take this cricket back if we can grab it. Yeah. All right. That's not a big deal. He said he, uh, she already ate anyways. But. All right, well, all right, that's fine. No big deal. We'll move on to the second in the tour. Move on to the second of the tour here, and that will be the C. Elegans. See if we can find her. She's usually at the back hole here, yeah. You can see her abdomen in the back. Um, we won't get a feeding out of her. There's already a small pin or roach in there in the front entrance. Uh, I'm not sure how well you guys can see that. Yeah, it's all right, but. Yeah, this is Willow. And uh, yeah, she's got a. Pin or roach in the front entrance there somewhere. She hasn't she hasn't took nothing, so we'll move on to the next tee in the tour, and that will be the first tee I actually picked up. And uh, that will be Miss Shiva here. She's got a little little hide, so it'll be you know, I might not be able to get her to come out, but let's see if we can get a, there we go. There she is, Miss Shiva, my Brachiopalma albopolosum. In fact, she had her for two years, going on three, three years now, mm, or so. Going on three. Going on three years, and yeah, I love Miss Shiva. She is great. Okay, so we're gonna put this back down because she's not feeding or nothing. <laughs> she hasn't ate for a while. All right, so the Shiva, as I showed you earlier, uh, I keep getting a bad glare. The Selma Poes, which is just off the side here. It looks like. Um, Freshly molted, so unfortunately I'm not going to try fur feeding on this one, but I wanted to show I got a nice little it's so cool. Venice right here. Where's little. the uh, flash? Can you block it? I think. Oh, no. Not very good. Oh, right there we right go. Here we got the little abdomen right there. Kind of hard to see, though. Oh, a little bit better now. Oh, we got. I mean, it's hard to see. She's ducked in that little. She's ducked in her little tunnel there. So. But, yeah. Alright, well, there you go, guys. Put that aside. Now, here's another Brachio Palma. This is another one I like. Ooh, <coughs> Sorry. There we go. This is a, I like this one. She's, this one's fun too. This is my Brachia Palma Vagans. The Mexican Red Rump Sling. So, uh, we'll see, maybe she wants a little cricket. Let's see, nothing too big.
Good. That should be good, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Oh, right off the tongs. Yeah. Racky Palma Vaggins, this, this, ooh, she's such a beast, isn't she? There we go. Got a great, great takedown from the Vaggins. Gorgeous. See, the un underrated species, in my opinion, Brachia palmas are. I got to clean out that water dish. That looks gross. I got extra, so we're good. Uh, but like I was saying, Brachia palmas, in my opinion, are underrated, just like the grandma stolas are kind of underrated, and a few other beginner species or intimate, intermediate species, not intimate species, intermediate species. Um, I love them. I'm on a Brachia Palma kick just like the Tiger kick where I have to get everything Tiger and everything Brachia Palma. And I'll end up on a Grandma Stola kick too because I find a lot of those species very gorgeous as well. All right. So great little uh, takedown from the Vagans. No name yet, but hopefully we'll name her, him or her soon. And let me put this back. There we go. And then here is our Nandu Colorado Velosis Gizmo, which earlier we did a video, and as you see back here on this back corner is her gigantic roach she was eating the other night, and what's left of it. I'm gonna pick that out here shortly so yummy isn't it you can see we can't get a uh, slight view of her she can be a little Ooh, I have that hard to see in there but yeah she's probably like what three inches a good solid two and a half three inches it's hard to see inside this one. She loves that little, she loves that little thing now. Um, no feeding for this one. She's already ate, and guarantee you there's no. Nice good start. No feeding. It's nice about uh, this. At least this, this, I say this species, but I don't, I don't have any more than this one species of Nandu, Colorado bosses. But it's great because she'll come out and hang out for. It'll be like a few days. She'll just sit like right on top here and like just sit on top of her little hide and just display out, which is gorgeous. As you see in the beginning of the video, Wild Side, we uh, showed a close up of Wild Side doing her little crazy display. Um, then underneath here, we got the Green Bottle Blue, uh, who actually just molted recently, so it's very shy and doesn't want to come out who actually turned out to be male. So now it's not Charlotte, it's Handsome Bob. You know. But yeah, done some great webbing in there. Let me show a little light from the top so you can see some of the webbing, you guys. It's, yeah, it's great, great webbing species. Beautiful tunnel systems, they look good. And then, uh, no feed for her. I tried earlier for him. I tried earlier. Wouldn't take the cricket, so. <coughs> Excuse me. You know. And then next, we have the Vicky. Whoop. <laughs> that was funny. She never does that. The Avicularia Avicularia. Uh, smoke. Smoky. Let's see. She hasn't, she hasn't ate nothing, but we haven't really tried recently. And also... Have not tried a cricket for her, so we'll try that and we'll see how she does. Nice. All right, perfect. That's two tonight. And uh, it, it's been a little while since she's eight, so I'm not that surprised that she took. Oh, there we go. A happy dance for you guys. There you go. Everybody loves a good happy dance. Oh, we see some stretching. Good. I can't wait to... been waiting for her to do some more webbing. She did her webbing and she tore it down. She did that twice. 
Might even twice. Might even three times. Might even be three. Might even be three, as Mel says. But yeah, she seems to build a nice web and then just tear it down for no apparent reason, but whatever, you know. Beautiful, though. Vicularia, Vicularia. A pink toad tarantula. Beautiful. Beautiful, though. Huh? Great little web dance. Doodle-doo. Doodle-doo. Doodle. All right. And then shift over next to this massively empty tank, as we see here. Um, there was a roach rolling around somewhere in there. I don't see it no more. But uh, this here is Pet Hole Pole. The... H. lividum or C. lividum, however you, uh, however it is now, I don't, not quite sure. Um, my male cobalt blue, who occasionally comes out as we see here, still doing the happy dance, but they have a little hole right there, a uh, little hole here that travels down this way, and it did come up over here, but I think he went straight back to the center of uh, the tank, so. We see him every once in a while. He actually comes up every once in a while. He's been doing it a lot lately. Yes, he has, actually. Um, still doesn't eat. And if he does, we never get to see him eat. Not since okay. we got him. Yeah, pretty much. We've got to see him eat a couple times since we've had him. So, All right, now we'll go to the stack here. Um, Pull the stack here. This one here, as you've seen it in the beginning, is wild side. And these are my extra dishes for when I change out the water dishes in these. This is wild side. My Phonopalma calcotes. Been in uh, Primo. I'm going to try a cricket with her. Just because it seems like smoke jumped on it. So we'll just try. Everybody loves crickets. Right, everybody loves crickets. Um, not sure how I want to throw this to her because she can be crazy. Hence the name Wild Side. Hmm. I don't expect her to take it off, but... Oh, she... Come here, you bastard. Get a little movement going here. Hmm. Yeah, this is the most docile I've seen wild side. I want to drop it, but okay. Well, as it appears, only a few of them feel like eating, the rest of them don't really care. <laughs> Oops, okay, it's gonna wait. All right, well. Really? I'm just gonna hang out on your leg. Can we get it to go the other direction? No, go up. There you go.